Dan, plenty going on with the pitch. How are you finding it? Yeah, really good so far. Um, all the works have gone smoothly as planned, and uh, we sh we're looking to be ready for pre-season matches second week of July. What's been the gist of what needed doing? It was obviously a bit of a mess when you took over mid-season, but yeah. uh, you're gradually getting there. It was. Uh, it, it was a bit lumpy and bumpy and, and not a lot of grass on it, but as you can see now, plenty of grass. All the bumps have been uh, scarified out. The thatch layer has been taken out to improve the drainage for those wet days. And uh, we're, we're, we're cracking on with it, really. You've obviously scarified it, uh, seeded it, fertilised it. Much else gone into it apart from that? Uh, a lot of aeration, really. Um, trying to take away that thatch layer that that creates all the bumpiness and uneven of the surface. So uh, trying to put some, some good organic matter back in, plenty of fertiliser, lots of seed, uh, trying to get a nice, thick, even surface, really. And what's in your trailer today? Is it um, a bit of spreading? Uh, it's, it's called MM45 sand. It's a subacute sand that it helps. It's special uh, sand, especially for uh, football pitches. It helps with drainage. Um, so that's its main purpose. Obviously, you've come in as groundsman over the last few months and received a lot of support, as Nobby has over the years, from Burdens and Norman and his staff, and presumably you're really grateful for that. That's right. Without without the help of uh, uh, all our sponsors uh, for Boston United, uh, namely that helped me the most is, is Norman from Burdens. We uh, All his high fleet is given to us as and when needed at the drop of hat, usually. So uh, without his help, um, we wouldn't be able to produce what we are going to produce this season. And you've also had some help from Dennis Pallet Enterprise Seeds, and that's much appreciated. Yeah, too. all the green grass you see growing now is all because of uh, the seeds supplied by them. So uh, many thanks to them also. And like you say, all eyes on the 15th of July when Barrow come down. That's when things need to be ready by, and presumably you're confident that it will be. Yep, very confident. Uh, they could play on it now if it wasn't so hard. We could do it with a bit of rain. But uh, apart from that, we should all be ready to go for July 15th. And then once pre-season's out of the way, what are your main challenges as a groundsman going forward, is it? Just trying to keep control of everything and make sure it's not too wet during the winter. That's right. Uh, come, come the start of the season, it's all maintenance uh, and, re and repairs, really, from uh, post-match and any midweek matches also. So uh, keep me busy in the off-season and very busy during the season at the same time.